Miss Hollywood, it's your girl. Ms. Hollywood is in the building for another Magic Monday. I am super excited to be here with you guys today. I have so many wonderful, magical, magnificent people amongst me. So I am trying to get out of the way of greatness. And I want to introduce you, reintroduce you to Mr. Kyle Jacko, who Hi, is in the building. He is joining us today. He is going to be talking about his Queen series, which low-key, I'm going to just give y'all a little hint right now. Um, I'm a part of it. And then we have Miss Queen is in the building. Yay. Welcome back to Fox Trap Radio. Thank you. Thank How you doing, love? I'm awesome. How are you? I am fantastic. You're looking good. Thank you. No, with the when the good good with good with the T on it and good <laughs> yes. no, no. yes. yes. period. Period. What we said. And then of course, to my right, uh first time meeting him, but excited to have him here at Fox Trap Radio. Miss is it okay if I call you Mr. Craig? Craig is good. in the building with us. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. And he was actually part of Kyle's King series, and he is part of the ongoing Lions Den. So we're gonna get into all of that later. Right now, I just want to, you know, how's everybody doing? I want to check everybody's pulse. You know, it's Monday. It's a lot going on in the world. Yes. You know, how y'all doing out there? Um, how, 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 how's everybody doing? I'm, 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 I'm all right. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I love to hear that. No, it's never going to change. It's always going to be the same. Blessed and highly favored. Blessed and highly favored. I know that's right. What about you, Miss Queen? I am awesome. Yes. I woke up today. Okay. Period. Yes. Period. <laughs> Just start with the sip and get woke up. You know how many yeah. people didn't make it last? Yes. yes. Didn't yes. wake up today. Yeah. Okay, it's a whole bunch of people. If you didn't know, go on the, the U.S. thing where it keep counting the deaths. It's sad to see the numbers just keep going up by the second. Yeah, and then Mr. Craig, how you doing? I'm doing awesome. Yeah. I, I'm bliss and awesome. Yes, but I know that's right. I'm, you know, I'm so glad to be amongst people who ain't complaining mm -hmm. and who ain't like, you know, I mean, it's cool or whatever. You know, when you when you say you're blessed, it's so you shall be here or something like that. I ain't saying I know the, the scripture. I'm just saying. Uh, but anyway, I'm um, just so excited to be here uh, with you guys today here. Like, it's just been such a crazy world. And just to be able to put out content still, do amazing things still, um, you got to be amongst the best yes. and the highly favored. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So, Mr. Kyle Jacko is here with us. Yes. He has this amazing Queen series. First of all, let me tell you, you know, I wasn't really sure. Like, I was just like, okay, what's the Queen series? And then I got a chance to see Miss Queen's interview, and then I got a chance to watch a little bit of Miss Vegas. Shout out to Miss Vegas one time. Um, interview. And like just to see two women who are balancing life and in the bagness. Can I make the word today? Um, like it's just it's it's inspiring. You know, I want you to know when I watched your interview, I was inspired. I was like, you know, let me get up and clean up my house. Uh, let me do something. I'm serious because when you watch greatness, it is if it doesn't inspire you, then you fail. You fail, yeah. right? And so you know, first of all, shout out to you for just even thinking of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I feel like black boy. I feel like it's a little dangerous to be black, but you know, it's almost cool again. I, I, no, for real. <laughs> yeah. Like like yeah. I, I feel like we really are starting to make some monumental climbs and like and times. just like yeah. just I mean for one just to have our men showing up for us you know what i mean like we appreciate that you know i'm like seriously like i mean like that's not something we take lightly we want i i certainly want you guys to know that i appreciate you giving us a platform you giving us a voice out here that you know not a lot of people are going to give us you're welcome, my, <laughs> you're welcome my Queens has been so big in my life yeah. for a very long time. My grandmother raised me right. Yeah. I'm raising my kids right the same yeah. way. And I have to give y'all a shout out. That's yeah. why I say the Queen series has to be, it had to be created. Yeah. Yeah. And I had to do it with strong, amazing Queen shouts out to all the Queens that's been yes. a part of my Queen yes. series. Yes, yes, definitely. Um, I just, I, and you're raising Queens. <clears throat> yes. How, yeah. how, how difficult, because you know, these, these different children. <laughs> <laughs> these days, you know, how difficult is it for a dad? Um, real quick, tell me that your your ages, and then how difficult is it in this day and age? Madison, raising girls. Madison is 
seven years old, Nalani is seven, Taylor is six, and Olivia is six, and that's all the girls. You know, I only have one son. Oh, that's right. Did you say seven, seven, six, six? They yeah. better be twins. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. Okay, so you got seven and six year olds. Yes. Girls. Yes, you know Madison. Madison's about a girl to make eight. Okay. November twenty eighth. She's okay. eight years old. Okay. So how difficult is it? It's it's not even difficult. It's really enjoyable. It's fun. Really? Yeah, it's like doing their nails, like seeing them changing the eight, nine, ten different clothes a day. Send them run around, so like they love their iPad. They be texting me using the voice to text. <laughs> okay, so they got the iPad, right? Oh, yeah. All so right, then, are, is, is it restricted? Because, you know, they can oh, yeah, they watch stuff too. like, you know, they, you know, they got YouTube. Madison, <laughs> but Taylor called me last night. She was like, Dad, I can't get on my YouTube. But it's restricted. She can't get on YouTube. Anymore. Period. Yeah, she's like, Dad, I want to watch you. No, no, you I'm going to send it to your phone. Yes. I'm going to send it directly to your phone that way you can watch it from but there. But it's really, really, I love it. Yeah. I really do love being yeah. that dad. Like having these little girls, it brings me joy. Yeah, yeah. Everything is like just doing their nails. Like I love to do their nails. Yeah. And they put their nails right there. I have like a whole little session where I put the music on and tell them what colors they can't wear and they can't wear like, can't wear loud colors. They can't wear like right. yellow right, and right, red. Right. But they actually, I really enjoy being their dad. Yeah. Very yeah. funny. That's what's up. Now, Mr. Craig, yes. you're part of the Lions Den. Lions Den. Um, first of all, how important is the King series? And why do you feel we need something like a Lions Den? Well, two good well, questions. I want to know what the Lions Den is. Like, Two good questions. I am a strong believer in mentorship of men, of yeah, boys. Yeah, yes, and yes. I truly believe that all boys, all boys going into manhood, all have crowns. Absolutely. It's just how they wear the crown. Yeah. How they carry yeah. themselves out there in the middle of the world with that crown. Yeah. Some of them, even if they want to cock it to the side, that's fine. But you still got to be an eagle soaring with that crown Absolutely. cocked to the side. Absolutely. So that's that's what I found in the Lions. I mean, the King uh, King series. All of us got a chance to talk about our background, okay, our history. Okay, tell me a little bit about your background. I'm sorry, I know I asked you a oh. question, but I'm just curious. Oh, no, no problem. No. I, I've been in Atlanta. Goodness, oh, I was back here with, with ooh, what's this? Uh, Lester Maddox was the governor and mayor. Oh, goodness. Then, back then, in those days, and but a little bit here, a little bit of my history. My uh, my parents actually uh, integrated. Me in the um, North Carolina school system, Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Okay. Dr. King went to sneak him in town to uh, to do a lot of things. And he motivated us, um, and and that was a test case. My case, and my brother's case, was a test case of integrating that, that school system. Okay. Now, needless to say, we had some folks out there who didn't quite want no, that to happen. No. So um, there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of uh, racial issues, a lot of uh, threats by the people in the three Ks. And and that became a problem. And my mother just, hey, my mom said, okay, I like what you're doing, but. <clears throat> right, because we, we ain't going. <laughs> yeah, right? we, you're not going to do all, but I'm sorry, what he say? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. So we had to come to Atlanta. Okay, yeah, we came to all right. Atlanta and uh, grew up in the Southwest Atlanta area. Um, worked with, my father worked with Dr. King, worked with uh, Andrew Young, worked with Abernathy and those guys. It was just a, and, and, and hey, Karen, I mean, we were all together. All the kids were hanging out when all that was going on. And we were just, we, we thought it was cool. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say your father? See, you know how people just, you uh, never know who you're sitting next to. You see how he thought he was just going to see him like, well, the line, no, you're going to tell me a little bit about where you come from, okay? Uh, well, thought, your father worked with Andrew Young, Dr. King. Okay. Joseph E. Lowry and them too. Was yes, all the whole them, Jesse really? Jackson. Jesse Jackson. Um, it was a it was a turbulent time back then. Very similar to this now. And I hope I'm not talking too loud. No, 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 no. And uh, and as as our age, I was you know eight, nine, ten years old. Yeah. We got a chance to hang out with them, but you know they kept the kids away from the kid team. Sure, sure, sure. But we all got a chance to see it, and and that's why I'm so intrigued in what's going on right now yeah, because yeah. it's. We're reliving it. Yeah. Just different players. Just different players. And that's what the Lions did is all about. Yeah. We get, when men get in a barbershop, a good barbershop, a okay. reputable one, we okay. talk about pertinent things. We talk about voting, about the politics, yeah. about 
And of course, we throw in our hot chick, the girl, the, the girls in the, the beauty shop next door. We do it. <laughs> so what we do, what we do is just that, uh, but we keep it on the up and up. Sure. So that's what the Lions Den is all. So that's what the Lions Den is. Yeah. So the Lions Den is a barbershop. Well, it's, it's, it's a barbershop it's talk. It's barbershop talk. Talk. If you ever been in a barbershop, you know what I'm talking about. I yes, you know, I, I I usually just drop my son off. I ain't got time. I don't want to be poised. Hey, I just I'm gonna be back. Thirty minutes. He got a phone. He can call. Um, <laughs> like, cause but he's getting a, a lot of knowledge in that Yeah, we know my son be tuned out for real. He be into his phone, but I'm sure he, he hears. probably hears something. He hears. Um, he so, um, so why do you feel, especially in a time like now, sure. right? Why is it? And I want you to tell me um, why, from your perspective, why do you think the King series is necessary now? Because because it's not happening. It's not happening. There was a time when I was growing up when you used to hear good knowledge yeah. from good people. Yeah, yeah. Pastors used to take over that role. Yeah. And I'm not saying it's not happening in the church. But once they leave the church, yeah. it's not happening. Yeah. So I, I, when I heard what he was doing, and I'm like, man, I'm glad to hear something happening outside of yeah. that church. Yeah. And I'm hoping it's happening in the church. I know it's happening in mine. Right. I don't know about everybody else's. Right. But, um, that's why it was. That's what drew my attention immediately to this, to what he was trying to do. And so, what what is the importance of the Queen series? The importance of the Queen series is to let all these queens know that's growing up right now that they have strong, amazing women in this world. Yeah. yeah. Everybody yes. is. Everybody is not dancing. Say how people that's like Queen is going to give you that spiritual walk. They have you are going to be able to give them show them that. So you're going to teach you about sea moss. Yes, it's mm -hmm. teaching about CMOS. They have you and a lot of other queens that are doing different things in y'all life, y'all being strong, y'all being very vocal. Yeah. So yeah. my little girl's looking at, I want my little girls to see somebody that's doing something very positive yeah. in their life, even though their mothers are showing them that too, but yeah. it's good that they can be able to see absolutely, it on the screen. Absolutely, absolutely. Because, listen, young ladies, it is more to life than um, TikTok, and, um, which is fun. I'm not saying you shouldn't be a part of it, but balance yourself. You know, learn how to eat properly, learn about hygiene, and learn about, you know, your hormones and your body, learn about therapy. Like, if, you, if you're angry for no reason, you know, talk to somebody, okay? Don't carry that, okay? So, I'm, and, and not only that, like, I think what I appreciate about the Queen series and being a part of it is that it's everyday women yes. that are out here getting it. So, we are more, we are who they really see in their communities. Um, we can they can go on YouTube and watch us too, you know, but we're more accessible to them right. You know what I mean as opposed to you know not to say that you know Cardi B would never come to you know DeKalb County She might mm -hmm. um, But in the meantime, it's Hollywood. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. now I don't know if we represent the same thing, but I think the message is to inspire the young girls and that's I right. and I think that's what everybody is trying to do Well, at least most people mm -hmm. so I just I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that um you know, the Queen series is here. I'm grateful that the King series is out. Uh, make sure you tune in to Kyle Jacko um, on YouTube. Um, subscribe to him. He's got the King series on there. He's got the Queen series that's going on right now, which I'm just super excited to be a part of. So um, we're going to take a break. But when we come back, um, I want to know, like, what's next? What, what can we expect from you after the Queen series? I know we talked about that in the past, but I want you to reiterate it. And then I want to get a little bit into what we can expect from these fine people. So don't y'all go nowhere. Stay tuned. We will be right. Okay, hey, and we are back and we are live. Thank you guys for tuning in on Fox Trap Radio. Miss Hollywood is still in the building rocking and rolling with you guys. And of course, we have Mr. Kyle Jacko who is hanging out with us here on Atlanta's Hollywood. How you doing? You good? Good. You good? You seem tired. You just nah, no, I'm tired. no. Yeah, he's so he's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> he's so cool. Look, he's so cool. And of course, we have Mr. Craig is in the building, um, and then Miss Queen, who I absolutely just love and adore. Okay, so before we went to the break, we were talking about, you know, what can we expect next for them? You know, anytime anybody's got anything cool going on, I always want to keep you guys, you know, updated on what they've got coming, what we can expect. So I know last time you were here, you said you just wanted to make sure you got the Queen series out. Now that the Queen series is here. What can we expect next from you on your YouTube channel? On my YouTube channel, it's going to be the Network Series coming up next. Okay. 
that working series is coming up, and I have a fitness series coming up too. And that's September 19th. A lucky thing for me, what you what you called out. September 19th, I start on Roku. Ha! <laughs> I told you. Yeah, you did. I, I said it first. Yep. Anybody want me, we can run the tapes. Yes, okay? you did say it. I don't know if it was on the air or not, but I did. <laughs> Look, I don't know about it, but I did say it. So, man, that's big. That's that's amazing. Roku was like, the, the, okay, you know, the people in the back that don't know what Roku is. I know it's, I know it's a television. We, like, you can buy a Roku TV, and it comes with Roku channel. in it, mm -hmm. on it already, and it's a program, a network, or an app. It's an app. It's an app. app. Yeah, Miss MJ on put me on it. So yeah, yeah. So I got picked up by that. Mr. Craig is part of it too, and oh, Queen is part of it too. That's what's up. So I'm bring my I'm bring my people with me. Now, when you said the Nat series, mm -hmm. you said the what series? Rumble. You said the fitness series, um, and then the network. Networking. Yeah, networking. Like, networking, like as in like N E T working. Like that's a like Queen. That's say she that's a, she does shirts or something like uh -huh. that. I'll bring on to the platform. Let's say Mr. Craig if he sell. 1970 um, Al Green CD. We'll bring them all. Let them talk about it. So if you sell 1970 like Al Green CDs, I need one before you leave today. Green screen. No, and so um, now that like you know, it's 2020 it's coming to an end. Um, what else can we expect from you? Tell okay. First of all, tell us a little bit about. She's got a whole little. She's got those. About, she's got CMOS. What else do you have? For those that don't know what CMOS is, why do we need to be taking CMOS every single day? Oh, wow. Um, it has uh, 97 minerals, and the body needs 102 minerals. Yes. It's super healthy for you. Yes. It, it it just does so much for the body, period. Yeah, mm -hmm. and you can get it in a gel. Yeah, you can get it in its natural form from overseas, like Jamaica or something like yeah. that. Um, and then you can break it down into a gel form for your smoothies. Or you could just eat it in, in, in a gel form. Yeah, yeah. And what else, outside of having the sea moss, what else, like, that I do? Yeah. Um, ooh, I, so I do locks. So I have a, a, a built a legacy for my kids, NJF Hair Care. Yeah. Which I do um, locks for people. And I also do artist admin team, which yeah. I do the paperwork for artists. Yeah. And Dynasty Healing is another project that's a work in coming. And tell us a little bit about Dynasty Hill. Because that's, I'm actually, yeah, she's all right. <laughs> Listen, girl, you got to be excited. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> um, it's just, it's in um, direction form. Okay. So I kind of just been thrown into the entertainment industry. And I haven't been decided on exactly what I wanted to do with it. Yeah. Um, I know I got a, several different offers to do different projects, but to thyself be true, so yeah, I want to make absolutely. sure what I'm doing is a good service for the people yeah. plus myself. Yeah, because I'm gonna protect my peace at all times, at um, all costs, yeah. by mm -hmm. any means necessary. Mm -hmm. yes. Mr. Craig, yes, <laughs> lines in. Yes, well, I'm a political man, so I'm in my busy season. Yes, right yes. yes, I yes, got yes, a yes. lot going on between now and probably November, okay, or third or fourth. Okay. After that, we Kyle and I are going to get into more of a motivational thing. Okay. We want to talk a lot about what he's doing now. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. See, you skip over a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm a, it's my busy season. I'm busy with politics. <laughs> okay. So let's talk about politics real quick. Yes. Why is it important? Okay. Convince us, you know, voters who still uh, trying to figure it out. Okay. What, what? 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 Tell us the the pros and the cons to knowing who to vote for, how to register, how to get involved, all of that good stuff. It's all about educating yourself. Yes. You have got to study what you feel is important to you. Okay. Uh, if that doesn't motivate you, then you're going to probably just go listen to CNN or Fox News right. and, and they follow what they of course. say. Of course. I like to motivate people to educate themselves in what's important to them and their environment. So you're not about swaying a person like you should vote for the left wing. Unless they ask me, no, I'm gonna just make sure I put the information out there for them. Okay. And then that's and then and and then maybe even show them where they can find the answer. Okay. But I uh, that's the last thing I ever want to try to do because I don't want to be like I see a lot of people out there doing. Yeah. They're yeah. telling people yeah. who they should vote for and why. Yeah. That's yeah. that's that's a waste of time. 
And uh, so that's that political season that I just mentioned. Yeah. We, we want to make sure that we leave a legacy of educated voters for the future. Absolutely. They educated me. And that's why I feel so entitled to educate others Absolutely. about where it's going. Of course, if you know the people I just named, the people I was hanging Absolutely. out, you know where I'm going. Yeah, I know. I look, we already know where you stand. Well, listen, we got to take a quick break. But when we come back, uh, a piece of advice, you know, something that you guys have learned in your fields and what you guys are doing that you want to share with the audiences. And, of course, we're going to get the social media. Don't you guys go nowhere. Stay Ah, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, 155 countries. Listen, we got Kyle Jacko in the building. Y'all seen the video. Y'all seen the Kings, seen the Queen series. Y'all seen the Lions Den. And we have the man here himself to tell us all, everything you need to know about it. What questions do you guys have? If you guys want to call us up, 770-703-5494. Call us and let us know what questions you have about the video. But since I'm sitting right here, I got questions. <laughs> so tell me, so so at the very beginning of this thing, walk us through the beginning. This started, what, in a basement? You were sitting on a, you know, it was driving in your car. Like, how did this idea even come about? So I deal with the whole YouTube or just the series? Just the series, just the King and the Queen series. The King, the King series came about, I've always had a lot of, a lot of men that have been in my life that always push me forward. My pastor, yeah. friends, yeah. family. Yeah. It was always around. I wanted to give them a voice to speak to and give their knowledge to other people too, as they gave knowledge to me. One thing that I know about life is I don't want to keep all the knowledge. Yeah. I want to always push it back to everybody else. Yeah. So I just started thinking about this king, this king. And I just started asking myself, would you mind doing it? And they was like, okay, what is it about? I told them what is it about. It's about influencing young men, old men, everything. And they was like, cool, no problem. Let's jump on and do it. Yeah. And I'm a very passionate person when I'm talking about anything I'm doing. About. Yeah, yeah. And so then from the King series, you said, let's do the Queen. Grandmother came to me. I thought with my grandmother, and she's been going now about eight, nine, ten years. Okay. I thought with my grandmother, I was like, my grandmother always gave me knowledge. Yeah. And then I was walking around and I was trying to find somebody to do my hat one day. The person that's supposed to do my hair, they couldn't do it. So I ended up walking to this seafood restaurant. And since I walked to the seafood restaurant, I met this woman that had gold locks in her head. And I met her and she had a brother with her brother say, Hey, she does hair, but I promise you if you if you if she does her hair, you'll get knowledge. And I thought about it, and next thing you know, I started getting my hair done. And just all the queens that have that was in my mind from the past to now, it all happened. So yeah. grandmother, meeting her, my loctician, loctician always been like this. It's like we gotta take what she's saying and put it out to the people. I gotta remember what my grandmother told me, yeah. put it out to the people, because queens are very strong. I support all queens. Yeah. I would say keep on saying that. Yeah. I appreciate that so much. Like I just, I love that. Like that, it's just so powerful. And then of course, your lactician, who you just bring on board. Now, tell me, raising queens yourself, you have daughters. I have a daughter. You have a daughter. Mm -hmm. Okay. How is she? She's thirteen. Child, she's thirteen. Mm -hmm. Has she seen your interview? Yeah. She yeah, has. Yeah. Okay. Is she in her own world right of now? Of course. Yeah. How? Okay. So I asked him earlier how it was raising princesses mm -hmm. to be queens. Mm -hmm in this day and age. Mm -hmm. Is it different at 13? Because <laughs> seven years old sound like painting nails, and that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm sure you're not doing that with your 13 year old. No, um, she's very <laughs> bougie. Oh. I don't know how that happened, but if she, oh. could, if she could reach for the, the moon, the stars, right, right, right. she won. Right. But I have a, a 20 year old also, okay. and another 12 year old boy. Um, and I just feel like they individually have their own minds, so I cater to each of their minds yeah. individually. Yeah. Uh, I also teach them that life is school. Yes. So everything that I've gone through during my journey, I try to prepare them as yes. well with their own language, though. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. With their own language, mm -hmm. because it's important. Mm -hmm. That is right. I caught that. I caught that in their own language. Mm -hmm. Because every generation is different. And you know, I'm trying to raise my kids yeah. like my grandmother raised me. And my son looked at me, he was like, what? I was like, okay, um, let me regroup. Pause. I'm going to be back. And I went and got my phone and I was like, um, <laughs> okay, so that didn't work. I threatened him with a belt. He was like, mom, that doesn't hurt. He didn't even cry. 
So what do I do? Because that didn't seem do I extension cord? That sounds like VFAX, right? Okay, so that's a no. <laughs> you know, and my parents got away with it. What you mean? Yeah, no switches. Yeah. No, <laughs> we can't do that now. Mm -hmm. So you know, I it, it I I know it's different. Mm -hmm. You know, and I and I and I appreciate you saying in their language because that's something that I'm learning. I have to deal with and teach my kids in their language. Mm -hmm. And I have to learn their language in order to teach them. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, nobody told If somebody would have told me, listen, you're going to have to learn the language of a nine-year-old born in 2011, I wouldn't have signed up for that, well, okay? It, it's really not <laughs> difficult. Um, you just have them reiterate what you express to them and the way that they translate it back to yeah. you. You'll understand if, yeah. you, if they got it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then direct mm -hmm. it if they didn't. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Mr. Craig, you got kids? Yes. Do you have young three grown? Three grown. <laughs> I am done with that. Three okay. grown. Now, how do you? Okay, so you still have kids yes. in this day and age. Well, they're my children. They're, they're, they're your children. They're, 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 they said them. No, they are out there. Okay. Um, no. So you have children in this day and age. Are you still? Are you? Of course, your knowledge is still prevalent to them. Of course, they come to dad as the as the wisdom in the family. Hopefully, you've um, instilled in your kids at least. To be able to come back and say, I know I'm grown, but dad, real quick, how how are you? How is it different than bringing them up, then, and then continuing to educate them or be there for them now? Well, I, I was really impressed with what you just said about in their language. Yeah, I've been trying to learn yeah. their language. Yeah, so that's a challenge, and I, I told me and I picked me up immediately because I love that. Yes, in to be a good parent. Yeah. You really, really need to continue the knowledge, but you have to find their knowledge, their, their language along yeah. the way. Yeah. And I, I'm probably in that stage now because now that they are adults, they're grown adults. Yeah. I, um, they, 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 they don't. My, I've been blessed. They don't even have to come back for money. So it is truly been just a when I'm around, when you're available, you need me. I'm there. Yeah. Other than that, it's Turkey. Yeah. Turkey Day, Christmas, and, yeah, yeah, and all the, all Christmas, and, and, getting in, and getting into the grandchildren, yeah, now. yeah, grandkids, yes, yes, ooh. Yes, See, y'all, um, let me tell you something. Y'all grandparents ain't the same. Mm. Uh, listen, my grandmother is very different <laughs> than my children. And she, I'm like, what? What happened to the? Oh, so you ain't getting the switch on these children, huh? Mm -hmm. They might bug up against y'all. Understand, yeah. grandmama? Like, so you, so you're, are, are you different with your grandkids than you are with your children? Of course. <laughs> and any grandparents, they would be different than mine. They say they a lot. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, uh, grandkids just know how to do it. Yeah. They, do that, yeah. They, they, they pull they at you on a different end. They know how to do it. Because so you can send them home. Yeah, I gave them sugar and pie and candy and sweets. Good night. <laughs> now, that's what we say. That's what we used yeah. to do. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, it's, it's all about that. It's yeah. all about learn, teaching another generation. Yeah. And that's what I enjoy. Yeah. Before we go, before we get out of here, I want to know, bringing it back full circle, you got this King series, you got this Queen series, you got the networking series coming, you got the fitness series coming. I'm sure you're going to think of something else to come with. What have you learned or what piece of advice, and this goes for everybody, um, to share with the audience so that if you're watching and you want to create a YouTube channel or you want to be a part of a platform that is talking about kings and queens and inspiring, and that's exactly what we are, don't call us anything less than. Right? I know some people are like, but king, what do I have to do to be a king? Yourself. <laughs> Queen, yourself. Okay, just follow the mold, right? So tell me something you learned. Tell me a piece of advice. Piece of advice I can tell you is write this stuff down is very good. Always write it down. When you write it down, put prayer with it. Prayer will work, it's still alive. Yeah. People, no matter what you do, no matter what you write down, put God with it. And yeah. you can create anything that you want that your mind can desire. He said, prayer with work. Yes. Oh, yeah. Prayer with work. Okay, you can't just be like, Jesus, please, please, please. Yes, you have to and sit there. Please don't don't pray harder. <laughs> Works. <laughs> People kill me, though. They be like, I've been praying. But no, what did you do after you prayed? Nothing? Okay, that ain't going to work. Um, Miss Queen. Um, it's very important because life teaches you to build a facade where you're not true to yourself mm. and you lose yourself and that's why nothing kind of feels complete.
So the consistent work on your core to be true to thyself mm. will make you whole and everything after that will be law of attraction yeah. Yeah. to work in your favor. And then life will be a pleasant mirror to you. Yeah. Man, it's so, it's so, it feels so wonderful to be up here with people that just know, right? I wish somebody had told me this 15, 20 okay. years ago. I didn't want to be almost 45. And I want y'all help this. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. Um, you know what? Nothing new. Everything they just said. But what my motto is, I still believe in it takes a village. It takes a village. There's no way in the world we're going to achieve what we need. And that's what the kings did. Kings and lions conversations all about. It takes a village. Surround yourself with knowledge of people, yeah. knowledgeable people. That's what he's doing. Yeah. And just pull it out of them and get it out there to everybody else. Yeah. But I believe it takes a village. I want somebody to surround my daughter, my daughters, and my son with knowledge. If they don't want to get it from me, I yes. want them to get it from somebody yes. so that they are going to be okay. It takes a village. The only advice I would give anybody right now. Absolutely, I, man. You got. I, I appreciate you guys for being the the model, the, the the type of men that I would want my son to be, the type of men that I would want my son to encounter. Mm -hmm. Hey, if he's doing something wrong, hey, young man, mm -hmm. that ain't the right way to do. Because we're afraid to correct our kids these days. These I see kids cursing in the park school. What, boy, what you say? You and this is a middle school. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Um, Tell your mom to call me if she got a problem. You know, like, you know, like seriously. So I, I, again, I appreciate you, Queen, for being somebody that I would want my daughter to be, yeah. being true to herself mm -hmm. and not being afraid to, because it takes a lot of courage, believe it or not, to do what we all do, mm -hmm. being ourselves. You know, a lot of people are, don't have the courage. They're like, no, they're trying to be like somebody else. So the fact that each one of you stand in your truth and you, and you have the courage to be yourself, that is, just so amazing and I appreciate you guys for being here I certainly do real quick um, what's your social media so we can follow you we can keep up to date with what you got going on on Instagram is motivational underscore forever on Facebook you can find me at motivation speaker Kyle Jacko and the YouTube channel is Kyle Jacko yeah what he said mm -hmm. um, at Dynasty Healing at Artist Admin Team and at NJS Hair Care Facebook is Christina Queen Clement. Yes. I'm old school. So <laughs> email. Email. Oh, I knew it. ATL. My last oh. name, C-O-S-T-E-N at gmail.com. And you know what? I just got on Facebook yeah. about in June. Okay. So my name, my first name and my last name, you'll get me. I'm out. Craig what? Craig Costin. C-O-S-T-E-N. Craig Costin on Facebook. I'm going to friend him just because I am excited that he is joining the social media world.